so this video is on the coordinate plane, and you have to be able to graph on the coordinate plane um, ordered pairs. So in mathematics, points are located on a coordinate plane. And a coordinate plane is formed when two number lines intersect at their zero points. So this number line starts 0 to 10, and this one 0 to 10, and where they intersect is the, um, the coordinate plane. And the intersection point is called the origin. And then the horizontal line is called the x-axis, and, and the vertical axis is called the y-axis. So this can also be called vertical axis, and this is the um, horizontal. So go ahead and pause and write down any of this that you need. number in the order of pairs the x coordinate because x comes before y in the alphabet and it corresponds to the number on the x axis and then the second number is the, in the order of pairs the y coordinate it corresponds to the y axis and this is the y axis so you go x and then y and you just follow these lines so I mentioned sometimes they go over and up and they just remember um, that the, the arrows, which way they go. Um, another hint is first you walk, then you jump. Okay, so if we were going to plot these points, 25 hundredths is one fourth. It, it's barely bigger than zero. So we would go over, this is the x, and this is the y. And so we would go over 0.25 and go up 6 and 75 hundredths. So that's almost 7. And that would be this ordered pair. And then 6.5 is the same as 6 and a half. So this is the x. And this is the y. So go over six and a half and go up nine and a half. So I'd go to nine and one half. And so this is the second ordered pair. And then seven and two thirds, two thirds is almost close to a whole, so that would be almost eight. So almost eight. And then up five and three fourths, there's five and then three fourths. So you're getting the idea, so one-fourth is close to five, and then two holes, and then three, and then one-half, so three up one-half. We go there, and then 4.5 is four-and-a-half to eight-and-a-half. And then this was in your notes from today. So which point represents the order pair 2 and 1 and 1 fourth? 2, 1 and 1 fourth is K. What order pair represents J? So it's 1 half 1, 1 half over of 1. What point represents the order pair 0, 3? That's A. And which order pair represents C? So it's 3 over and up 2. And then it says draw a diagonal from W to Y. 
and which points are inside this square, pass through this, which points inside the square, and um, 2, 2, 2, 2 would be there, so that would, and then 1 and 3 fourths, 2 would be really close, 2 and a half, 1 and a half would be right there, and 2, 2 and 3 fourths, 2 is way off. So these three would, and these this wouldn't. And then which points are inside the square? You need to plot each of these and see if it falls inside the square. And then um, which what order pair represents point Y and what point pair represents point X. And then answer the questions on the circle. negative numbers on the coordinate plane. And that you have the x and y axis are separate, separate on the coordinate plane into four regions called quadrants. And this is quadrant one. And that's where it's positive and positive. And then you go counterclockwise around to where this is re, um, quadrant two, and this is quadrant three, and quadrant three is negative on the x, negative on the y, and quadrant four. So it's counterclockwise. You, you always um, label it one, two, three, four. And um, in which quadrants will you have negative, a negative coordinate? Well, you're gonna have it in quadrant three, and in quadrant two, and in quadrant four. All of these have negative numbers, but quadrant one is all positive numbers. In sixth grade, um, for, for regular academic, you only work in quadrant one, but because you're in pre-AP, you work in all four quadrants, and so you'll have to know how it goes. So this goes down to zero, and then negative one, on out, and this goes positive up here and then negative down here. So, name these ordered pairs. Um, so, this A, you go over negative 4, up positive 3. So, negative 4, 3. You still go on the x coordinate and then the y coordinate. And B, is 4, positive, negative 2. 4, negative 2. And D is 9 and 0 up, so 9, 0. And these are all quadrant 1, so they're going to be completely positive. 6, 8, and then we've got this one, and then F is in quadrant 3. And it's negative 9 over, and then negative 4 down. Negative 9, negative 4. You still do the X, and then the Y. And um, C is negative 1 and negative 4. So all of these can be found. And then um, G is 0 over, because it's on the axis, and then negative 8. So 0 negative 8. And I know that these were hard to see. So on your coordinate plane that you have, go ahead and label these um, and graph each of the points. So A is at negative 2, 2. B is at 0, 4. C is at negative 5, 0. D is at 3, 4. E is at negative 2, negative 5 and F is at 4, negative 3. So you'll plot those on your coordinate plane and take that to class.